those scratches, no good. You work like in a flat um, flat area and then you start to like work you way around this almost got it you guys can see I only have like two big main scratches um, I'm using a 600 600 um, sandpaper so this is what I do I just put them in a flat spot and I just go like this, see? And your brakes will work way better this way because now your pump is gonna be working way better. So you, you guys can see the, the big scratch I'm working on. Paper. paper towel it's not happy anyways this is how you do it I just want to show you how you can do this this area if you do this you will like get like smaller in this side and it will be tighter for the black plastic rectangle that it goes right here spinning
Well, guys, after sending everything, there's a little tiny, big scratch that I was not, I was not able to get rid of completely, but it looks way better now. <clears throat> this one also turned out great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start put it back together. Okay, guys, when you guys um. ready to put put it back together i already put this uh little metal in there make sure you suck right here with your mouth and make sure it's sealed like this you will feel that this stops because there's like a cover that opens and close you have to make sure that it's is sealing properly on the other side if not what you can do is take it apart flip the metal and put it back to put it back that way and it will it will get um better also remember you're gonna have to put some oil in here make sure you soak everything in oil we need everything to be lubricated Because this, we don't want it to start working dry. We don't want to dry, to be dry. So this needs some oil to lubricate. It's looking good so far. That's there. This one goes right here. Ooh, I like it. I think it will, it will work pretty good. If you got good seals for this, go ahead and put it back together. If not, you're gonna have to order you guys um, some seals. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I got one seal right here. Kind of flat a little bit, but um, I got this uh, RTV, gray RTV. Or I don't know how you guys call them, um, gasket maker. I'm just gonna add a little bit, just in case, and just go a little bit at the time, like this. Doesn't need much because this was not leaking. Don't put too much because we don't want to seal. There's a little hole. We don't want to seal it. Okay. If you, went, if you went over a little bit, just try to clean it with something. Get rid of all the big chunks. There you go. It'll be fine. Now, we can go ahead and put this right here this hole we cannot uh, we cannot cover this hole that little one we need that one to oh i'm sorry it's not that one it's this one right here this one outside okay so apparently this one goes like this Okay. Make sure it's tight. There you go. So we got that pump ready. Oh, wow. <laughs> this got some vacuum pressure, man. Oh, wow. It 
it's hard to spin okay now that i create a mess right where i'm i need to put the o-ring i'm gonna have to clean it again <laughs> take all the oil out come on we need light right here okay Okay, cleaner one. Get rid of the oil right there. Since this O-ring is good, or this seal, we're just gonna, oops, I drop it. Hold on, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm back. So, um, let's clean it again. Now let's put this seal right back here. This seal looks pretty good. Almost it doesn't need like no seal or anything. I mean no. Um, gas can make it or anything. But. I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. Just to create a little bit of a seal right here. That's the hole that we don't need to cover. Okay, guys, uh, we're about done. Now let's go ahead and install it into the car. And let's do this. Like I said, this is for uh, in case the Euro brakes or your turbo is not working properly, this could be the culprit. So bear with me. Okay, we are here back into the car. So now we're gonna try to match this with this if you are an expert you will do it up first if you are not an expert you might take a little bit to like actually get it get it on now the trick is do not let go because it will fall it will fall back into back out so tight or tack one screw or one bolt, and then put the other one. Don't tighten it all the way until you got all three ready to go. So almost done. Now go ahead and tighten this bad boy. Good. Now we're gonna need a uh, to install this hose and tight that tight the um what's called the um the clamp and we're gonna see it's gotta work it's gotta work Okay, that's done. Now let's see if we can get him to start. So stay tuned. Let's try the brakes. See how hard are they? Oh, soft. Now it's working. So, guys, I call this a success. So, I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video lately. But um, that is it, guys. Um, also, I have a fence right here. So I know you guys probably haven't seen my videos lately, but uh, there's no more view to the street anymore. So thank you guys for watching. 
and stay tuned for the next one. This is Taco Eval.